I can eat kind of. Uh, hey, this is Rod Bain with Roblox over here. We're playing Red Markets, Fallen Flag, the planning session before Mr. Jules. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Oh, yes. the hell of an intro. I know. I've been listening to old RPPR things in my <laughs> intro style, because uh, I'm building B-Sides Volume 3. And my intro style has changed subtly over the years. You were so full of life back yeah. then. I used to be wow. like this. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm like <laughs> this. <laughs> I think I'm more full of life now. Uh, Three years bursting from with it, about to explode. Anyways. Three uh, years from now it'll be this is Ross Payton. Wait, wow. wait, so you're oh, I am more wait. I am more animated now. Is wait, so you're okay. like cool. they yeah. so it's like the original um reanimator except when you get injected it's like what do you give him too much life there we go exactly <laughs> that's me uh so uh the players uh phone flag has returned to travel uh they with the overflowing the with bounty uh and they are about to perform mr Jones. there is a bit of news actually there's a lot of news <laughs> uh national news actually oh. um oh boy. it seems there is a massive political controversy in the recession that is affecting even things out here in the loss uh it seems oh. there's a major uh, dhqs scandal uh because the uh, dhqs inc uh uh, proof that the DHQS has been operating black sites in the laws Whoops. has surfaced, uh, including kidnapping citizens from the recession and taking them to the laws and forcing them to work uh, in various things, including not, not just manual labor, but like technical people, like engineers and scientists and that kind of thing, uh, and torturing them for more information. Uh, uh, this is cool. And also that there are people that are, that, and if the DHQS can run sites in the laws, that means people must be able to survive. Let's start reclaiming is the popular sentiment. Uh, uh, so the government is doing everything it can to stop riots and a uh, full-out civil war. Uh, so there is a lot of talk about moving the the line west of the Mississippi, uh, and there uh, is uh, the the that reclaim Missouri. Uh, well, parts of it probably. Uh, they don't know how far west they'll go. Don't but, bother reclaiming uh, it. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> there's farmland. Like they still need that shit, you know. Um, so at what cost? Yeah, <laughs> there there is a uh, a lot of cost. So the DHQS is uh, uh, members of it are resigning. Uh, some are being put up on charges uh, and other things. So it is uh, quite uh, popular. So uh, you can give me uh, you can all give me foresight checks. Sweet, I made that. Okay. And I didn't crit success. <laughs> Give me uh, a no. self control test. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> crit success. <laughs> uh, I make it. One stress. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you realize uh, the DHQS is being politically weakened, uh, but they're not being like destroyed as an institution. Uh, these are fall guys that are going to take the blow. I mean, they're, they're, they're not going to be able to. Uh, you, you've seriously upset their plans by doing this. So, uh, you realize, for those of you who succeed, yeah. you don't have to make a, you realize though, if you hope that they never find you, uh, <laughs> you realize they will never, ever, ever stop looking for you. <laughs> and if they do, if they ever find you, they will kill you. <laughs> yes. So you, that is something you will live out, uh, on the rest of your life. Um, so... That's something to think about uh, that will take into requirement of your <laughs> retirement plan. So, cool. All of us or just uh, half? Only half of realizes that if they ever catch any of you, you're all you're going to be put against the wall. <laughs> uh, I still feel good about the, what we did. I, I think the, yeah. those computers were better well, than When you're fans. tortured and your body is then melted with acid to get rid of all traces of you. We had some interesting That's, uh, that's a consolation prize. So... Um, that's just I just wanted to bring that up because we that will be something to be dealt with if you guys succeed and retire. So depending on where you wind up, there will be uh, some modifications to your <laughs> retirement plan. Um, so uh, that's that. Uh, we can start with the big thing, which is Mr. Joel's. Um, do we need to go through uh, milestones? We should probably do our miles, uh, milestones. Milestones, yeah. We should talk about milestones first. And vignettes first yeah. and shit. Because God knows I need the humanity. <laughs> hey! Uh, so me who... Too. still? Let's do milestones first because those are pretty easy. What happens who if has I, a milestone left? What happens if I crack while we're planning <laughs> Mr. Jones? That'd be that awesome. was the only check. Like, I don't think there would be any more checks. Uh, for you don't think. I don't think. Like, uh, you have a milestone. I am down to my last one. Okay, That's so your last milestone. All my last. Uh, Same. All right, so we'll do, uh, we'll start with uh, Cuddy. 
because uh, Cuddy's not eating. Uh, so wow. you get you, get, you, you go dark first, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the Cuddy Sean, the player is not eating. So we'll, we'll yeah. do Cuddy the player. Um, <clears throat> so your last thing is essentially uh, you've they've secured the uh, the site is the secured. Sound. It is yeah, it's been found. It's been secured. Now we have to start getting gathering the people. That by the way. Isn't it funny that every time Cuddy contacts somebody, they're a crusader? <laughs> it's uh, like he's building a network. Yeah, you're basically putting an open sign on it and saying, "Red, right, open for business. Crusaders so you're weapon. trying to uh, rec- uh, recruit as many crusaders as you can right. to uh, come to Cuddy. Yeah, come to Cuddy. Jim, Steve, Steve, Bob, yeah. Tim, all the crusaders. <laughs> Chevalier. Yeah, literally all. Of them. <laughs> as, as many crusaders, crusaders as we can fit. Yeah. Open season. We can do what we want here. It's Crusader Never. Yeah. Um, and if you're going to be calling one last one, might I suggest the one who gets rid of the bodies for you, which would be Melty? <laughs> Get rid of the bodies? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. We do use you know Crusader's favorite? We're efficient. <laughs> yeah. That would be Limey. Every piece of the animal. Uh, Every, yes. <laughs> can, can, we re- can we re yeah. reanimate them? Let's find out. <laughs> no, you know you can reanimate them. No, re reanimate <laughs> them. Okay. Uh... Yeah, wait so Cuddy's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, Cuddy well, is understood. <laughs> so Cuddy, essentially, you are talking to people in Ubix specs, and those that sign up, you're helping pay for their moving expenses. Pretty much, uh, I'm, I'm gathering my cult. Uh, you're gathering your cult. Uh, so yeah, no rules, uh, but right. some people are signing up for it. Now you don't know of how they're all members of Crusaders or they're hanging. Or you, how how selective are you being? Uh, um, mainly, okay. I'm not just sending out an open sign. I'm so, right. I've been talking to people as we go through. So you're being pretty like you're. I'm being selective, it. but right. they, then it, there's other people are like standing for their other people. Yeah. So I'm kind of like almost a pyramid. Yeah. Going on with Cuddy at the top, of course. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jenny, so Jenny, Jenny might cut. Yeah. Okay. So you're not getting many people then. It's not going to be a ton because but five years good. later, people with the skill set and the personality that are still able to travel and work without you know. It's not going to be a ton of people. It's yeah. going to be the ones that I'm pretty sure can at least do some what I consider reasonable research. Are you going to get any uh, say uh, outsiders to do some of the grunt work, like man the walls and uh, tend um, to the crops and whatnot? Well, seeing as I went for an underground compound. Okay, that's one, that's going to be one of the things that's going to be a passageway getting in kind of situation. Uh, also, well, I mean, they have to man the surface entrance, otherwise, yeah, so, somebody, yeah, okay, so <laughs> you're going to get stuck. There's got to be there's got to be other crusaders who are better with combat stuff. Well, sure. So, again, I'm making this a crusader okay. compound. Yeah, I know, I know. So, so crusaders only. There's yeah. definitely there's no yes. like, well, you're not a crusader, but you're really handy with a gun, so you can stay here, kind of thing. Um. Again, that's I what, think what he's getting at is you're really handy with a gun, but you're not a crusader. But on the other hand, this crusader vouched for you. You can yeah. Stay. Okay, I'm, I'm getting that, that case. So I contacted, I uh, selected in the, the initial contact. If they're vouching <coughs> for somebody and saying they won't turn on us right. that quickly, um, we can trust them a little bit. All right. So you have two choices as of right now. Uh, one is, do you want to focus on making sure that this? Uh, is going to be a long-term uh, Crusader outpost where it will be able to uh, sustain itself for years and years to come, or do you want to focus on the research, uh, which is what Crusaders usually choose, in which case after a year or two, there's no more bounty or there's no more food, and everyone just gets up and leaves. Okay, Cuddy's been in the world, yeah, and he's been learning from some very smart people. Yeah. Very effective people. So he's... He's the reason I'm the saying is you don't have enough. Re- <laughs> if you want both, that's Mr. Joel's. That's that. Well, the Mr. Joel's is where that comes in. Yeah. To the start, to start with, he's looking at sustainability. All right. So it's it's basically you're not you're getting some takers, um, or some people, some crusaders to come. Uh, for, no, hiring takers is one of his. Mr. But Joel's. because you're not getting, you're not able to get really. You're not focusing on the research. You're not getting the most talented ones that are still out there. You're not. They're 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 still. We'll like, those in for right now. Cuddy's still eventually. <laughs> Cuddy's also setting himself up as a leader. Yeah. Hence, he's not going to invite. Do you have leadership as a skill? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> well, he's trying. That's what, it's going to be one of those things that, uh, what if we get a chance to spend a little bit of sure. bounty beforehand? Uh, you can. Gonna, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be bumping up a couple things and also de stressing. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, so that's what you're doing. It's going to yeah. be a very humble outpost uh, if you don't complete Mr. Joel's, but there will exactly. be you and a couple other crusaders it'll be doing sad. your best with ragtag supplies. And, yes. Uh, it'll be sad. It'll be sad. <laughs> Uh, but but, yeah. Mr. Joel's but you'll be hanging around. Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Uh, refer. Okay. Uh, last one was doing the test run on, uh, well, the uh, 
yeah, the Shakedown crews for the uh, okay. our uh, mobile uh, repair platform. But the last one of uh, part of ours will be its full outfitting and applying for li- uh, appropriate licensure to use the rails because I'm uh, I'm certain the conductor has a monopoly on that and is wanting uh, wanting his cut to be able to exit or at least follow the train. Um. Well, if you want to, I mean, if you want to go out on your own, that's fine. So, as long as you, as you promise not to damage the tracks or anything, that you, 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 you have to pay for any damage done to the tracks. Uh, but they're actually surprised. Like, if, yeah, if you want to go with them, there's obviously fees if you want their protection and everything like that. Uh, but the shakedown crews, yeah, you, you can take it out on the tracks. You can take it on Greeley. So, yeah, uh, we've already done that. So yeah. this was just this. So this is the final outfitting and. Well, you said it was a shakedown cruise. Was this third? That, that was the second one. Oh, okay. Cruise. So, what's the third step then? That would be the final outfitting and okay. prepping to depart. All right. So, so you're, you're getting more supplies. It's as yeah. ready as it's ever going to be. Yeah. Uh, so. And also hiring out extra additional crew that we right. need to pilot. So you have some uh, of Celeste's. Uh, there's <laughs> always takers. There's always miscreants and that kind of thing. Uh, all ready to hire up as hired guns. So yeah, uh, that's that's that. They're ready. Uh, of course, you're, you're telling them it'll be in a little while because you have one last job. Yep. <laughs> um, they shake their heads like, Jules. So they're just like, all right, give me my money up front so I can pay <laughs> yeah. to wait around. So, uh, all right, heard you're that not, before. You're yeah. not coming back. Yeah. Give me the money. <laughs> yeah, give me the money now. <laughs> what, so that's where that 20 bounty Yeah, that, that's, like, that's the higher. Um, oh, I do it again. Brian, you're not a pimp, dude. So, Han, what is your third step? Well, first was to have Prolaptrix prepare the route out. Second was to send Silas along. And so yeah. the third one is organizing my own escape hatch. So okay. that's another call to Prolaptrix. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> Worth it for the Caleb. Don't yes. you ever say <laughs> I'm doing well. How is the boy? Oh, he's fine, he's marvelous. He has very, he's he's very good at sewing, actually. I kid, I kid, I kid. He's being taken. Like, I know kid, he sews. Yeah, <laughs> unless you don't come, in which case he will learn to sew. Oh, well, I will be along soon. <laughs> I I hope so. I just wanted to make sure that the final shipment was arranged. Uh, yes, uh, it is. Uh, I hope you don't mind being in a box for a while. <laughs> I don't mind a box. Yeah. Okay. Won't be the first time. Uh, it is very chic. Uh, be sure to bring a a a, a bag or oh, a bottle. You know, well, several bottles. You know. But anyway. I know the drill. <laughs> very good. Uh, good luck, Danny. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a call away. So uh, you make arrangements. You send the last payment in cryptocurrency, Dogecoin. Uh, just... <laughs> Please tell me that's what we pay in after uh, the crash. Yeah, it's Bitcoin all... crashed. Doge, Dogecoin <laughs> survived. Uh, wow, much currency. Yeah, such Nerd. encryption. <laughs> wow, such uh, literally bounty. worthless. No one would love it. Uh, such bounty. Let's see. So I think that's the other milestones for everyone else. Oh, I you have one. one. Oh, okay, everyone. Basically everyone but uh, McCree. But I only carry a sword. And <laughs> <laughs> a sniper rifle. <laughs> well, now it's, it's not a sniper rifle. It's just a rifle. Because sniper rifles are heavy rifles. Yeah. So it's a rifle. Like an M16 or a bolt action or something. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to... Okay. Uh, my previous bounty, my previous two milestones were sending the wild geese yeah. uh, up to scout a location that I found uh, in the mountains, uh, secure it, and set up a basic... Uh, area of defense, just like a wall kind of thing, mm-hmm. to keep the zombies out and kill all the zombies inside. Yeah, you, you scouted the location and you yep. secured it. Uh, and I suppose the third one would be uh, trying to set up plans for uh, sustainable living out there. Uh, getting seeds, uh, getting equipment that I would need to maintain livelihood. Mm-hmm. Just very basic. To outfit it. Yeah. yeah. Forms of um, um, so yeah, do you want to, it's the same sort of decision as Cuddy. Do you want to focus on sustainability or do you want to have more creature comfort? Uh, sustainability. For okay. so surviving it's is important. very, very sparse. It's that's, like that. That's okay. That one guy who lived in Alaska for, in the wilderness for twenty years by himself. I'm uh, Waldening. 
Yeah. Or the, <laughs> no, Waldening is creature comfort because he uh, lived in a pond near a town. Oh, like, that's true. <laughs> he, 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 he could Fucking walk Walden. to town. Yeah. No, there's actually there was a guy in the 50s who lived 20 years in the Alaska wilderness by himself. Oh, like right. he had a 60 millimeter film camera. And he, Emerson's he's not going to come by and bring your groceries and ask if you're going to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Gil. Yeah, there was uh, also the guy who lived on the uh, island by himself um, that Robinson Crusoe was based off of, the goat man of. Uh, what was Goat man of some islands. It's go. Yeah, it's go man. Yeah, well, yeah. Go man. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's going to be very minimal and sparse. But that's okay. Uh, anyway, the wild go geese go or the lifeline admins. <laughs> Actually, the wild. It was the wild geese. Yeah. Okay, the go wild man. geese. Uh, they they take it up and they they will set it up. It's kind of like a boring job for Good. them, but like I insist on secrecy. They need to pay for their bullets for the cleansing. That's so fine. Like, they can pay and for hard whatever. work is is good for the soul. God so. damn it! Yeah, <laughs> they can pay for whatever they yeah. want. I don't care. It's bullets. Take the bounty, do it, and yeah, don't no, ever talk about they it. They tell you it's bullets. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, do you know who they're gonna go into? <laughs> give a shit. The <laughs> damned. <laughs> We're gonna send their souls to the afterlife <laughs> to being trapped in the hellish purgatory they deserve. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's a they have a clear theology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just okay. took Catholic theology and added zombies to it. They give every single damned a key to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bullet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Great. Can we restart the campaign and play Wild Geese? <laughs> can, we, uh, can we do an all-cultist campaign? Oh, no. um, <laughs> drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the cultists are fun. So that's your, that's your, 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 it's ready to go. Good. And if you never do Mr. Joel's, you could just live out there in poverty as a subsistence farmer. I'm already living in pover- poverty. Yeah, but you have a gun. Okay. <laughs> it's it was, fine. Yeah. Up, anyway. Um, have a gun and a house. So half. Half off. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, so my last one is make Emma choose. <laughs> uh, so <gasps> Here I will on. send along the rest of the bounty to Leech yeah. to pay four people's way to the recession. Uh, You're paying for Chad, really? No, it's maybe Chad. I am. No. I'm paying for uh, Trunk. I'm paying oh, okay. for Wes. I'm paying for Emma, and I might be paying for Chad or yeah. me. Uh, yeah. So. So I need to meet with Emma, and I I am very clear that it needs to be private. She agrees. Okay. Uh, deep breaths, Aaron. No, deep you said you, at the beginning of the campaign, I believe you said you wanted this to be down to a die roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so so uh, it should be in your hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, so do you want to make that roll now? Or I want to can... roll if I survive Mr. Joel's. Okay. So this is so this is <laughs> oh, not, not gonna... choosing as okay. it's for Emma. This right. is like not, not laying the choice, choice out. Yeah. Not yeah. You're laying the choice is that dark. You know. I just wanted to be clear so we're not missing. All right. Yes. So go ahead. Uh, so where would, where would we meet at? Where is he? Oh, a private place. Where did you, you first meet each other? Whenever you met uh, back in Trabajo. Oh. Uh, I would say uh, we never met in Trabajo. I found her. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, You're meeting in Trabajo. What was the privacy? Is at a premium, but there are some places near the fences where. Uh, like there, are, there are, yeah, yeah, that um, are too close to sleep in, but like, you, they're not. The, like, there's a train car that's near that that's been muffled. Like, they've added like quilts and stuff like that, mm-hmm. so you can't hear it so much. So you can talk to each other, and those that's commonly used as a meet, private meeting place for people because you know a lot of people have that kind of stuff. Flip the occupied side. Divorce. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's grody inside, but you know, it's awesome. what is it? <laughs> uh, some places the church is actually very nice. <laughs> if you would go, you would know that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sorry. What is your inscrutable tiny? <laughs> <word>? <laughs> yeah, the listeners aren't going to know sorry. that. Oh, uh, what Kyle. is Kyle? Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. All right, so that's, that is half name. So it wasn't not okay. Skyler. I, did, uh, I, right. I didn't know what it was saying. Um. <coughs> okay, so I guess I'm just waiting yeah. until she shows up. Yeah, you the, you got there early. You had to reserve the space. <laughs> <laughs> People see you're like, okay, well, go oh, there's that here. weird egg guy. Yeah. <laughs> so half. I'm, I'm glad to see her back in one piece. I'm amazed that <laughs> from the stories that from wow, that's like the Ubik that you sent, Wes. Uh, yeah, it was it was uh. It was a profitable job. We got we got a lot of we got a lot of bounty out there. You, you sure? I, I'm a ho- I'm hoping to God because it looks like you haven't slept in days. Uh, it's it's rough living, but it'll be okay. Um, 
I'm not a human being anymore. Look, remember when we were coming up the highway and we found that checkpoint and we thought we were saved? Yeah, I'm... I'm and they put us in the lines and um, they gave us the blood test and then they pulled me to the other line. And, you know, and that's where we the didn't bite happened so long ago in Nevada. We thought I got off clean, but then we, we thought we knew it was going to happen. And we said goodbye. Yeah. So you knew I was dead, right? That's that's what you thought. You thought I was dead. I, you're right. I thought you were sick. Pretty much that you were you, that you had contracted it. Maybe some long form, maybe a form of latency that we weren't aware of yet. But but they pulled me away, and then you never saw me again, or for at least three years. You you had to think I was dead, right? I wouldn't have remarried if I, I wouldn't have remarried if I didn't think that. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm very proud of you for doing that you you did what was right for Wes uh, and that was very strong of you um, so when we were in the hospital uh, and when that that doctor just kept cutting at us and she wouldn't let us heal and she just kept going for more and then you'd you'd go over one time and you'd find another piece of yourself missing and when that went on for months um Trunk's the only guy who got me through it because he went through it worse. Uh, but he kept me going because um, he told me that I needed to be there for you, and he was right. And when we came up with that cockamamie plan and when it actually worked, um, I'll be honest with you, from for the old times, that uh, I didn't want to keep doing it. I, I didn't want to go out. I wanted to go to sleep and then not wake up one day. But I did it because that's what was best for you, and that's what was best for Wes. Uh, and then I came, and I found this, and I kept going, because that's what was best for you, and that's what was best for Wes. Uh, so I contacted a group. Um, they call themselves Leech. Uh, they uh, are pretty intrigued to learn what uh, Nigel and I, uh, Niles and I, found out in the facility. Uh, and they like to help people like us because uh, they're uh, important for that. that um, but cool. they know we won't go without our families. So uh, Niles doesn't have anybody else. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 what are you saying? We have papers. We can go. Uh, they're going to get us out. They've We're got out? armed car. Conver- yes, but you got to listen oh. to me, okay? Last five years, they've always been about doing what's best for Wes, okay? Um, I need you to be strong again and make that decision. What are you saying? They're going to take Niles. But it's because he's immune. I only told him there's one immune going with them. You're all going as Niles' family. And by you all, it'll be uh, you, Wes, and Chad... Or it'll be you, Wes, and me. I can't afford both. You can't afford both. I can't afford both. Uh, I could afford it in money-wise, but I've done things, Emma, that um, you don't want to know. And... You made the hard choice back then, and I made the hard choice, and it's your turn again. So, double stuffed. Words. If you think Wes is better off with me and his life the way I am now, because I'm not going to get better. Uh, the stuff this the stuff this place cuts off of you doesn't grow back. I'm not going to get better. Uh, but if you think I'm still good for the job, you take me with you. But. Chad's he's a good guy I don't think I would have let him be this long if he wasn't good with Wes and uh, it's a rough spot Um, so it's not fair I'm not asking you to love me again or forgive me for what I've done uh, but nothing is, and nothing has been for a long time. 
and you need to carry this for a while. So uh, I'm going to go out. Uh, if I come back, we're going to be set. And if I don't, I'm going to make sure uh, the rest of them take care of you. But um, if you're here, uh, we'll, we'll go find a new home. And if you're not, uh, I love you. And I always have. Uh, and I'll, I'll miss you very much. And then I'm just going to walk away. Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't die. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody dies. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's so many stories, bitch! Walk out of the mic! Jesus, damn. <laughs> nice. Uh, you get all the moxie. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. We have to ritually kill Chad. <laughs> no, I don't think that would be very we hard. Chad's, Chad's not, a not a taker. I think, uh, yeah, I, think yeah. I want, if you choose half, I want someone to play Chad when you have to break <laughs> the news to him. No, oh, that's a die roll. It's up to a die roll. That's a die roll. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's no, I'll play Chad. If half gets picked, I want to see Chad crushed. <laughs> well, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Wow. I feel like that would just bring some nice fun. resolution to it. It's a zero sum game. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get fucked. It, it would be really <laughs> in tune. Give him a pistol with one. It would be yeah. really in tune with red markets. Yeah. Like half gets what he wants, but someone else doesn't. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, it would be an interesting confrontation to play. Yeah, I'll play Chad. Holy oh crap. my god. I can play Chad. <laughs> you, two, you two will fight. One, well, we don't know if that scene's gonna happen. Right, right. That's right. just theoretical. Yeah, that's just good. Yeah. Can we get a total uh, As I said. This this last job, I am going to design it. So if you make the wrong choice, your character yep. will die. Uh, this is not going to be about die roll so much as making the right choices based on the information you have and taking the yeah. right risks. Uh, but yeah, just so you all know, if you make the wrong choices in the Joel scenario, I will design it so that your character will 100% die. So. Yes. All right. Uh, so does anybody need a Dead vignette tracks. to heal? Because <laughs> you don't need to save anything for a scam. I was going to um, spend bounty so on it. So. Might as well get... That's fine. Yeah. Uh, we could do both, actually. Yeah, you have a work-life action. You can spend them both on life. What would a... Sc- is there even any point to doing a scam? No, there is no point okay. in scam. So it's like, you can do two. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah, you all. Uh, you get to rest up before your big day. T- so if you did a milestone, you could just have a regular. Day. Everyone gets to have some time off before their big day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we did earn a shit ton of bounty yeah. on the trade. Yeah, we did. <laughs> shopping. <laughs> yeah, shopping's free. Get in the car, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> so it's been bounty to you. It's, it is it's the car, like just it's the car Mad Max. pulled by a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> that was Mad Max. So get, in, get into the car, Each loser. We're going to the waste. Yeah. Row off of like. One area. It's right? one column. Column. One column. Straight up and down. Yeah. Straight down. Yeah. yeah, you don't get a whole for spinning, row. For spinning bounty. Okay. Oh, no. For, for, for a spinning bounty, bounty, it's a box. It's a box. A box. Okay. One cool. box is one bounty. Gotcha. In that yeah. case, I will spend. So you get you get your vignette, though. So you get to. I would, You could heal that. Well, I guess you could choose which order. I am order still to my do this wonderful, in. cheerful self. Ah. Good old McCready. Yeah, yeah I, I crumbled in detachment, so I have a delusion now. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, so I healed. I'm gonna heal those. Oh, yeah, you That's gonna. Yeah, you're gonna keep seeing the doctor. Falcon and my oh, sister yeah, kept yeah. me healthy. See the doctor once every session. Yeah. <laughs> but my, uh, I'll play your uh, so yeah, you see you see her right after uh, Emma walks out. She's uh, leaning against a building nearby, watching you, uh, kind of smoking. Uh, Is this a she's therapist. <laughs> yeah. Well, she seems to be disapproving. Oh, I feel that. Yeah. I think she's real. Okay. Uh, how would you react if you see, think she's real? She's just watching you in the distance. Uh, Do you run? Do you try to confront her? <laughs> yes, I will run up and start screaming at her. Okay. You could have made more if you just let us heal. Why didn't you do that? It's just bad business. You said it was business, but it was bad. So I'm just going to be yelling at a wall yeah. in the middle of town. There's it's at the edge of town. It's at the edge of town. Okay. Remember, it's by the wall. Clackers. Yeah. By the wall. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Look, fill something. You don't know. By the time you, what you realize, someone <laughs> pokes you and you look around and, of course, she's gone when you turn back. You don't know if Emma, Emma's gone. You don't know if she saw Mr. it or not. You were uh, yelling at that cheese again. Are yeah. you all right? <laughs> 
But it's like, uh, it was just somebody, but are you gonna, are you using the meeting room anymore? No, please. <laughs> uh, so are there some yeah. casualties of the fence just looking at like... <laughs> <laughs> it's more of like a, a metal wall uh, instead of a fence. You know, you got a lot of uh, scrap iron and corrugated metal you can yeah. weld together. Yeah, we don't like seeing it. No, or the casualties yeah. like taking a step away from you. <laughs> yeah, that point, like, ooh, this is, uh, yeah, I don't want to get in between this. <laughs> this is too Dr. Uh, Phil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah, let's do vignettes next. Um, you can choose. Yeah, can they choose what order to do this in? Can they spin the bounty first uh, to heal pop axes, then do a vignette? Mm-hmm. Or they, okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So. All right, so you spend some money. Yeah, uh, to sh- shopping, shopping, uh, buying being, more supplies, buying better, more centrifuges, being uh, a, feeling like a better leader, and uh, also my vignette's gonna go with another expenditure. I am gonna bring a suppressant injector with me. Okay, so you're you're shopping for suppressant. Uh, Actually, I know I know where I'm getting it from. Where? I'm getting it from the clinic. Okay. Remember all those extra supplies we got that first yeah, time that we did. weren't supposed to get? Yeah. It probably had included Buried suppression. in the woods. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The, the part that we actually ordered in the key. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember you, you had to choose whether yeah. it was useful stuff or research stuff. <laughs> the suppressant. Suppressant actually is the, the rare thing that fits in both columns. <laughs> okay. And there's gonna, yeah. probably going to be at least one injector in the clinic somewhere. Uh, yeah, Jenny says, yeah, this was used to be carried by uh, Childs, uh, McCready's brother, but he didn't need it anymore, so he gave it back to us. Well, Jenny. Because my bro is a class ass. Yeah. Here's the thing. Well, it's contraband. He didn't want to take it. I've made absolutely sure that, you know, if, heaven forbid, something bad happens to me, well, I've got one means of getting back. But in case I'm not able to come back, whatever I earn is yours. Finish the work. Of course. Why else? Yeah, I... You don't need to say that. I mean, I know that. What's it about? Okay. <laughs> no, Jenny's trying to deflate the situation. She's like, you don't worry. Yeah, we'll, the work will never be... I mean, we'll never, we'll never stop working. Then slip the suppress into my bag. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll make a good test subject uh, if you bring that in there. I mean, we we've got. I, th- there, I just saw a paper on Lifelines on bone marrow extraction that's uh, uh, more survivable and more like less painful, uh, so it could be done more times. Uh, well, also, if I become latent, yeah, I don't have to worry about I don't know accidents. No, no, yeah, It'd be perfect. Yeah, no, it would be. It would be perfect. And we could use, like, we could, that would be a secondary income source. We'd be making suppressant through your bone marrow. Possible. Maybe just once or twice a month. We could also make more. Like, you know, there's, I saw a good paper about getting it from the spine. Uh, would be even more effective. I would say, let me deal with getting us this, this thing first. Oh, yeah, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> and besides, just, just. We could always get an intern. Oh, if you yeah. make it and you don't need the suppressant, we could always get Let an me intern. see your glass. There's something I want to show you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Jenny, let's see how well Jenny can handle that. Oh my God. Jenny. of the aberrant that she uh, uh, sees killing. Out of character. Caleb, thank you for helping us avoid that job in care. Damn it, we could have learned so much. <laughs> Not well. She <laughs> critically fails. <laughs> she puts it down and she just walks out. <laughs> You never see her again. <laughs> yeah, no. By the time you, you find her hours later at the bodega, she's pe- like someone g- comes and gets you. Like she, your friend is drunk. Okay, she I go get her. She drunk herself to black. <laughs> I go get her yeah. and you know take her back to back to her place. Tuck her in, lock the door for her. Yeah, get out. Yeah, she uh, suppressing. <laughs> leave her. Leave her a little note. <laughs> Sometimes Ginny gets a little dark about like whether yeah, this is a future right. quest. Leave her a little note. Now you're the supplier. We're, uh, we're here to fix this. Yeah, that'll cheer her up. <laughs> yeah, but you, uh, but yeah, you get your humanity back because good old Jenny. Jenny is reliable. It's the most reliable crusader aside from yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is she a crusader? Yes. Oh okay. yeah. Totes. It was two. It was two crusaders. <laughs> it's funny when Caleb role plays her because she was like, "Yeah, we can do this." <laughs> uh, I was all surprised you didn't do that. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's, 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 she cares about her brother too. Though. Yeah. Which are they not. brother and sister? No. Or, okay. No, I had a Fred's Fred. brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fred's going to be an, an interesting question whenever I finish this up, because the <laughs> plan was to take Fred to the reception. <laughs> and whoops. You <laughs> forgot about you that? You forgot you had a dependent. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Fred's going to be coming with us. No, really. Come with us, Fred. Oh, I'm coming with you, bro. Oh, no. See, he's the one non-crusader. He's like the janitor. He's like, God damn it. He's trophy the janitor. Yeah. Yeah. They only think he's a crusader because of his name. Yeah. Fred. I like how you saw Day of the Dead and you were like, yeah. That's a character. They got to figure it out. <laughs> it was okay. like aspirational. <laughs> I said, I, okay, I was going to make this character originally an agent for the DHQS. <laughs> and then you oh, said, no, play a cultist. And I'm like, okay. 
Uh, who else has a vignette? <clears throat> Me. All right. I got that cochlear implant. You do have that cochlear implant. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, first, I want to confront Cuddy. Well, okay. I say confront, but that's a lot what? more could, you hostile could, sound. Yeah. <laughs> and it what? should be. Someone's got a lot of pent up anger. I do. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose after you are uh, walking Don't, out of. Uh, like walking back, to Jenny the, walk, walking back to the clinic. Uh, I'm standing aggressively <laughs> outside the clinic, <laughs> like you do. Yeah, <laughs> posing like a comic book here. Um, <laughs> Cuddy, listen uh, about that implant. I oh yes yes yes. yes. What about it? I first off yes 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 yes. Thank you. Oh, Second, I want you to install it if the person I give it to chooses to have it installed. If not, if not, it's fine. I st- I'd still like to pay you. I feel I didn't compensate you enough earlier. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. That was part of the job. Honey, shut up. Just let me get this so I don't think about it. I want to stop thinking about it. If she comes by, it's for, it's for the operation. If not, keep it and buy more centrifuges or whatever. So, here. Uh, I pass Cuddy, 10 bounty. Ooh. Self-control oh, check. Yeah. Yeah, I make it. Okay. Yeah, there, there's your you, you, you just paid off everything I bought. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Whee! All right. So, listen, Cuddy. Like I said, she may or may not come by. If she does, then that's for the operation. If not, then whatever. I'll try and keep things at ready. Good. Thank you. Okay. You know where I'll be. Uh, always. Go into, the, uh, go into the clinic and stare at the wall. Okay. Uh, I leave. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, hold on, I'm Do doing that. Go talk to her. Yes, I'm going to go talk to Aethnia. Uh, uh, where where would Aethnia be? Whoever's playing. Uh, uh, oh, I think Dave. Played. Yeah, David. David, David. Played. Yeah. Probably either back to just the living quarters, or uh, maybe she's people watching get yeah. around the open market bodega. Okay, nice at the bodega. Actually, yeah. I like that one. Sitting and trying to read lips at, up close and at a distance. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they have lights on. I mean, the train just came back. They have plenty of fuel and bounty to keep the lights people on. People are happy. Yeah, people are happy. Open Enough. Uh, <laughs> almost everyone came back this time. Oh, except for the assistant. Oh, some other people died, too. <laughs> yeah. It's never 100%. Yeah. You know, there's always a couple who died. Yeah, that's true. And that one luchador. That one and guy, the assistant that one guy had, and the, the that guy, one guy had that one. drone explode. Yeah, yeah. actually, hey, that, that you want to come or take a seat? The Laytons are all the same. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, all right, uh, all right. So yeah, you meet up. Uh, yeah, uh, I I walk up and sit down next to Aethnia. I stay silent for a while. Uh, I'm fiddling with something in one of my hands, uh, and then after a moment, I kind of I tap Aethnia on the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> I reach into my pack and don't sneak up on me. Like that. I hold out the implant. Still sealed. It's still uh-huh. in it's still, it's still sterile. I, I got one. And uh, I just wanted to say I feel like I didn't address this properly last time, but don't let this be about usefulness. Be happy. I don't care if you're useful. You shouldn't care. Be survive. Is this isn't just because you aren't useful doesn't mean that you don't get to live. I, I feel like I did a terrible job of talking about this last time. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm working on it. I, and of course, this is your choice. I've paid for the operation, but don't feel like you need to have it done. I uh, hold out my hand. One condition. Mm-hmm. You have to stop. Stop what? This is destroying you. I know. I plan. Every time you go out there, less and less of you comes back. I <laughs> thought. I know. Uh, as stop. As she's talking, I stare down at the soma I was fiddling with. <laughs> I, uh, I, cl- I I clench my fist around it. I know, and I'm making sure that I'm that I can't. I'm gonna make sure that I don't need to go out anymore. Do you promise me that? I promise. <laughs> One last job. Yeah. And <laughs> two bears. <laughs> two bears. <laughs> that will never not kill. I just want to say this outfit tantine thing is working exactly as it is. <laughs> I, I, I think it's really tantine. <laughs> so does... Uh, you promise me you're going to stop. I promise. And I'll do it. 
You don't have to do it. Do you promise? I promise. Then I'll do it. Okay. There's something I want to tell you so you can hear my voice. Well, you're getting a hug first. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's oh, something heartwarming as opposed to soul wrenching. How- it could be heartwarming. Yeah. Could- Maybe. Okay, but it sounds like you said heartwarming. <laughs> Heartwarming, yeah. No, I, there we go. It does sound That's the phrase, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Heartwarming? It's from the heart. It's like, it's like you want them. Only heart with the heart. Oh, it just burrows right in. The emotion hits your heart like yeah. a worm? Yeah. Burrows right in. That's what I always thought. Okay, do so. uh, I guess I'm... <laughs> All right, any other vignettes? Oh, yep. Okay. So, uh, uh, last one, I'm going over to uh, Reaper, so she's right. not just going through the general shake th- down of... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, really excited because we were getting ready to test out the uh, uh, oh, uh, the actual platform that we could have built into the side, so we can actually raise a vehicle on top of onto the side and work underneath it. So, actually, cut out a portion of the side that we have on our, our on the lift. So it's really exciting. Uh, but I have some papers that I want to deliver, so I'm just kind of walk over there. It's probably really loud. Just wave to her and knock on the side. Uh, who's playing Reaper, by the way? I forgot who did it last time. We t- Me! Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's her personality. Yeah. So, hey. Yo, what up? Uh, how's, that's like, how's the lift going? Pretty fucking great. Have you seen this thing? No, it's amazing. I'm glad. I'm actually surprised that the welds are actually holding us. I know, man. You did a great job with those welds. Uh, well, like I said, we got the materials I love for you. it. So, hey, uh, can I talk to you for a second? I mean, we're talking right now. Well, okay, away from everybody else who's working on uh, it, because oh, we, yeah. we, we've, the, 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 the schematics on there, and I trust, yeah, 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 I, I yeah. trust you, I trust you for the most part, as much as I've ever trusted you. <laughs> well, well, no, you know, I'll let that slide this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, um, the what, we're gonna, we got one more job that we need to do before we can settle everything here. I so. mean, you, you said that a couple times, but like... Well, no, that was the parts. Yeah. That, that was the parts for it, and you knew and that, and I haven't really yeah. sounded excited, but we, since we've been gone for the better part of a month. Yeah. So, um... Did you like that beer? The one with the scorpion in it? The, uh, no, I never liked that. <laughs> I don't know scorpion why you can beer. Beer, scorpion beer. I don't know why you tried to convince me that. Look, anyway. This one's a little more serious, because if... We're kind of looking at two aspects of this. One, it could literally set us for life to the point where we can we can operate this independently. We don't have to be Shit. bound to anybody. No kidding. Pretty much, yeah. We we can choose we, we can choose our own clients as long as we keep it defended. We have enough to keep it with Yahoo if outfitted with Yahoo's who will shoot anything for us. Nice. So we don't have to work with these fuckheads over at the scrapyard who think I weld their engines wrong. Say that a little louder. <laughs> so we still here. So we don't have to work with these fuckheads. Mm. Is that is that? Yeah, I have was, feelings, you it. know. <laughs> Fortunately, they're making a lot of noise but the, with all the uh, heavy the, equipment that they're using. So. But they're, I'm sorry. Can I hear you yeah. over all the but sparks is, we're making? And their impromptu queen but, but you got to know there's, but, the, there's the chance that if... It, I, there's that possibility that I'm this... I might not be coming back from this one. I mean, there's always that possibility. Yeah, like, this, this one's the more serious possibility. So, like, for real, for real this time. Yeah. If that happens, pull out the sheet of papers. This is a contract that I had Father McConnell write up. Mm -hmm. If I don't come back and they don't have my cut for you, because whatever I'm getting is supposed to go to you if I don't survive. So, So, Father McConnell, stick up for you. This is basically the contract that says that you get that. And hand off another sheet. If I don't, and the rest of us don't come back, which is another strong possibility. <laughs> Fucking all of you are gonna die. We're just covering our bases. Jesus. This is a this is a con this is a contract to write up with the conductor so you can keep with Trabajo. It acts. It's like it allows you to act as a as the mechanics the rolling mechanics bay. It's not a yes. You'll get about uh, you'll get about a forty percent cut. That's the best we could do. I mean, it's much better than this, but I mean, you gotta make it back. I mean, if you don't make it back, make sure you leave Albatro to me and Will. <laughs> Bullshit, he's flying on his own. 
Yeah. <laughs> See, that's good. Is that a bit of humor before you go oh, off. Is, your... <laughs> is, is Albatross free as a bird now? How does Albatross survive and all of you die? Like, that's what Wouldn't that be poetic? Yeah. Wouldn't it? All right. <laughs> the bird must die. <laughs> the bird just watches uncaring. <laughs> or, like, or... Cocks his head. Or, no, it's like five <laughs> miles of yeah. and the GoPro Translation. gets a view of all of our dead bodies. Thank God this is Displayed out artistically. Yep. <laughs> Raptor Screech! <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it was quite touching. Uh, very little dark. Yeah, it fucking was. Yeah. So you get humanity back. You feel oh. you've, you've got closure. Uh, so is everybody else? I just got to talk to Niles. Uh, not Trunk? Yeah, Trunk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, who do you want to play Trunk? I don't care. Uh, I'm, David. I'm, I'm, David has a gun. Oh, he's You're my wife. <coughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So. <laughs> That was the weirdest line of the night. <laughs> the night so is young far. yet. The night is young yet. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. I got two from getting the hearing aid, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like I said, because mm-hmm. you spent bounty on it. Yeah. It was a big risk. A lot. Yeah. Uh, so I will find Niles in his tent. Oh hi! I'm just juggling this basketball because I can now. <laughs> Wow. Could you believe it? Um, I'm glad I you can be right handed. Well, I was a lefty before, but now I'm right handed. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And crush throats. <laughs> All right. Uh, I haven't tried the crushing throat thing yet. Pop the ball. All right. Uh, I know you're good for this. Um, we, mm-hmm. we talked about it when we were uh, in the hospital together. We did. Um, so, all the plans are made. Uh, they're just going to want to debrief you. But uh, don't let them take you. They want my underwear? No, Niles. Uh, <laughs> it's not time for jokes. Uh, they're going to debrief you, but don't let them take you until everyone's across the border, okay? Right. Um, and if Emma says go, you need to go. Okay? Uh, don't wait for me. Uh, she's, she's leading it. So the leech people should be here in the next day or so. Um, I'm going to go out. Uh, I gotta do another job, um, but we will leave when Emma says we leave. Okay? You're sure about this? Yeah, and uh, you need to you need to take care of them all. Just make sure they're across the border before they go and debrief you. Um, I don't want them going back on their word. Now, when you say take care of them all, no, mean... no, make sure they're okay. Right, your family. Yes. Not the leech people. Uh, well, they should be able to take care of themselves. I'm, God knows I'm paying them enough. Uh, so. Yeah, you just need to, you need to make sure they get over there safe. If I'm not there to help, and we uh, get them across the border before you uh, get, go off with the leech folks, one way or another. Uh, and then whatever they tell you to do, you you need to do it. You need to keep a low profile. Um, they're going to be looking for people like us even harder. Uh, but either way, buddy, um, if I if I make it back or not. Uh, it's really going to be best for you not to know me. So I just wanted to thank you for uh, for being the voice across the curtain there. Uh, you got me through it, man. And it's because I've always got a way to laugh, a way to smile. If I weren't joking, I'd be crying the whole way, and you know that. Yeah, I know. Uh, you're my crutch. Sometimes literally. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Amy found us? We were limping down the highway like that. Oh wow! Yeah, that was uh, uh, and then, was, <laughs> then the doctor is in the back. Also, also, if I'm not there, here's what's the, the session? <laughs> <laughs> I can call you Niles. Just what, just Kyle. this one. You're Niles. Oh, I, wait a minute, Kyle. 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 Kyle and Niles. <laughs> I can call you that just this once, can't I? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if I have to forget you, I never want you to forget that I'm your friend. I got you, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fist bump! Fist bump! <laughs> you want to call me better back for the fist bump? <laughs> Prosthetic fist bump. Also, Secret move unlocked. Also, if I'm not around with you, here's this shotgun shell with Chad's name written on it. You know what to do with it. Here's I did not I think say you that. wanted you have a shotgun shell. 
Here, here's that. Here you go. It has your name on it. It's like, it's like, what kind of Sicilian message is this? Half thinks what he's doing is noble. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> but he has fully convinced himself that it is. That's because he's going to denial. Crazy. Denial age just Never really go full Rick, all right? <laughs> You're not walking dead. Uh, I don't think you're Rick and Morty in that. Uh, no, Rick from Walking Dead, <laughs> yes. Uh, lost, you know, missing a hand, crazy. No, 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 no. Uh, messed up marital problems. <laughs> He's what Rick. He just needs For a telephone. For a comic that's how old. <laughs> Why don't get to Suppose murder? Still catching up. <laughs> Chad. Well, Chad it's isn't tomorrow. doing anything to merit it. <laughs> yeah. uh, He's farming beans. Yeah, soybeans, yeah. Soybeans. <laughs> soybeans are useful. Uh, good. Uh, any other one yet? Well, can we do one? still has... Is yeah. I still have mine, but neither of us have dependents here anymore. Yeah, yep, so that's so. the that's the downside. That's the payoff. Keeping them safe. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. You know what? Let's barbecue. <laughs> Let's fucking party while everyone else is taking care of shit. Uh, are, you, are you spending any humanity or any God. bounty on restoring humanity? I already did. I did. Okay, well then you can spend that yeah, on a barbecue. Yeah, getting fucking trashed <laughs> yeah. before we go. No, you can, you can spend it on a barbecue. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I have nothing. That, no, that he is. Like Han. Idea. So Han, you spent how much bounty are you spending? Three. Three bounty. That's a pretty decent barbecue. Yeah. And I'm so throw- you could all have barbecue. Hey, no, I'm throwing all of us. Hey, Ross, for the blowout, I'm going to throw in five. Uh, okay. Him. Make some control question. check. So this are is, you, the, this is you, the this is the party. Remember, one bounty is enough to feed a person for a month. So are you so barbecuing? It is a poverty simulator. Yeah. I got it now. Might as well spend it. Yeah. So are you barbecuing? Yeah. Because either I'm gonna get either I'm gonna get rich and retire with this job, or I'm gonna die. I don't need more equipment. What's that? So are you? Barbecuing? I love it. Go for it. No. What are you barbecuing? Is it venison? <laughs> Uh, it is. Venison. <laughs> there is venison. God damn it! No, but it's not just meat. We're all, I'm also buying, you know, booze and stuff yeah. like that for everyone. Have a so, Fallen Flag has a fucking feast. Yeah. Go for it. How long does an implant take to do? Uh, not a cochlear. I mean, a couple hours probably. Yeah. So probably just take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well prepped. Can we do yeah, How much will we have? If we get back from Joel's. three. Oh yeah. No, you get even a, with yeah. three. You get an epilogue. Yeah, with three willpower, you could like you could basically get even if you crit fail in your initial roll, you could. Negate it. Uh, go ahead and give me a roll, sir. Really? You're just creating my fucking willpower. That's all you're doing. You don't need it for the session. Like, all right. You'll get it all back for the next job. I made it. Yeah. See? <laughs> okay. There you go. Cool. And play Damn it, Ross. Oh, you monster. Uh-huh. <laughs> How dare you make you roll to doctor, doctor? Yeah. <laughs> Spelling a cochlear implant is a little outside your specialty. <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> Mr. Zombie Farmer. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, so your head and call. All right. Um, I did have one question, just since <laughs> okay. you put it in there. Um, since it hasn't been used, I would like to make sure we have favors from Algernon ready to go. All right, Algernon. So, so do I need to call him now, um, or do we need to wait until we've made the plan? You need to make the plan, because I need to know what it is. Okay, that's why I, I wanted to make sure. I know what Algernon is, actually. Uh, I know what his background is. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, I need to know. How, I, it depends on what, how your final job is set up before. Uh, mm-hmm. I do say, during the barbecue, uh, Emma actually does stop by uh, yeah. with uh, okay. a... Uh, I'm not partying. It's you're like there. a sad party. No, she. You're, everyone else is having a good time. In fact, I'm the luchadors come well, over. Well, actually, I am. Uh, yeah. They the bring, they bring beer and mm-hmm. food. Because uh, they're, you know. Cinco de I Mayo. bought last time. Yeah. I just could be clear. Yeah. They, I said they brought beer. So. <laughs> Wait, this is Cinco de Muerta. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Us, so. uh, well, they're celebrating Every their, day their is lost Cinco comrade. De <laughs> <laughs> they're celebrating the life of their lost comrade. Yeah. Um, that poor guy. That poor guy, yeah. You know, he. Awkwardly avoiding them. Yeah. Well, no, they come, they come to you. You have a big party. Every, they're, they're very friendly, very gregarious. Uh, but Emma comes by with uh, someone who has a nice camera uh, and says, uh, I thought it would be very nice if Wes could have a photo of you and your co-workers. Oh, fuck, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's cold-blooded, girl. <laughs> that's some Virginia Wolf shit. <laughs> you don't have to roll self-control. Bullshit, uh, you get to take a photo. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so you all stand. I thought Wes should have a picture of you. Yeah. And your co is a self-control job. You and your psychotic friends. <laughs> I like this as the premise for our... No, because we're changing our life, and you won't be like this anymore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, she we want... all pose. Describe your look. Uh, wait. This is the fo- this description yeah, yeah, of yeah. you, and this will be the image that passes. Yes. So that, but that also means a lot of our weapons are handy for some reason? Yeah. Okay. You're all the time. You, yeah. okay. you do I'm live in an sure. enclave that is threatened by zombies on a regular basis. All right, basis. send them. Bed bags over the uh, I have trouble smiling, but then I... 
I look at McCready being left out of the photo, and yeah. I sidle up really close to him and put my arm around him. Aww. Oh, I will send Patsy. I'll try to send Patsy. With a no. brittle ass smile. Yeah. <laughs> Hollow eyes. Dude, like, thanks. High five. Yeah. <laughs> and Cuddy stares through the camera. Uh, all right, so you take the photo. Uh, it is immortalized. Oh, wait. I wanted to jump yeah, taking it. the photo. Uh, God, how you fucking do the mother? You do just oh, so your cr- IR. Your critique. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm standing there I'm with Albatro. But also, Albatro is on my shoulder, wings displayed. <laughs> all right, however you uh, describe it in the email. Uh, I need to add that to my Yeah, you. Um, I'll, I'll yeah, send any notes. Uh, but yeah, that happens. Yeah. Um, and. As we should probably copies. do yeah. the job. Though. Yeah, now it is time to do the job. Mr. Joel's two banners. So, uh, two banners! Uh, after, two we banners. Stagger, after we stagger awake the next day. Yeah, after you're awake. No, no, we've already... So this is the flashback while we're asleep. Yeah. Uh, so before we started the game, we began with... Yeah. We were around Joel, a... Right. Industrial yep. spool. I remember. With a single light <laughs> swaying back and forth in a disused storage container. <laughs> One of us might be uh, Batman. All agreeing on Mr. Joel's uh, and calling it two banners. Uh, so we've got a flashback to a time when we were still whole. Optimistic. <laughs> and actually liked each other. Uh, probably Dude, it was at the beginning of the campaign actually, when it was still winter. For the yeah, record, no, no, it was much. literally the first session we yeah. did. For the record, yeah. you. St- McCready started off rather dour. Actually. <laughs> I got better. Like, you did yeah, better. Yeah, know, but you got to be dour because it's like seasonal affective ago. disorder. <laughs> Lanes are very vulnerable to that. Uh, but, yeah. now, but now I'm like, hey guys, like, I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, Lanes are vulnerable to that. Got to remember. For <laughs> yeah. I gotta include this that one sentence in there that I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you <laughs> say that? <laughs> Why wouldn't you say that? Uh, uh, okay, so. Mr. Joel's, here's how it works. It's basically an in-character collaborative. It's a rumor mill. Um, so basic setup. Uh, a lot of conjecture makes its way into the lifelines for every hot lead. There's a dozen commenters piling on the bandwagon, carrying nothing but bullshit. Uh, separating fact from fiction can mean life or death. So basically, we've all heard rumors of a big score. Yeah. And we're talking about it. But collaborative means that the first person goes, that's the rumor we work with, and everybody else Yes, ands and adds to yeah. it. Um, so, before we get started, the way it's going to work, everyone's going to roll black d10, then they add the foresight roll, they re-roll ties until a winner ro- emerges. Um, roll foresight first? Well, we'll get to it. Okay, get That'll to determine this, who goes first. Okay, seven. Uh, speaking in character, the taker with the highest roll proposes some stash oh, okay. of goods they think would be right for a score, okay. or whatever element of the job they're talking about. Two! It's not... Um, Step three, whatever the first taker proposes is now fixed. The score is definitely going to get that specific good. Now, going around the table clockwise, the next taker proposes something else they heard about the goods. In improv terms, this is called yes and. Uh, players aren't trying to contradict each other so much as add wrinkles to the existing plot. For instance, if the first taker proposed stealing crude oil, the next taker may have heard that there's more than crude oil, and on-site refinery is producing gasoline. Hmm. Uh, something like that. Uh, so you just yes and it. Um, step four, whenever, whenever Taker has shared a rumor overheard about the job element in question, every player except the one who went first, that element is now immutable, rolls a normal sensitivity check. If the roll is a success, there's some truth to the rumor. <laughs> if the roll's a failure, the Taker has been duped by one of the many hoaxes plaguing you pick. Um, secret sensitivity option, which you have to use for Mr. Joel's, we just tell you our scores and Ross rolls it. Wow. He's the only one who knows which rumors are true and which one are bullshit. Done. <laughs> so you're going to have to keep notes. I, I was going to say, that's why I have the notebook. Um, so that would be it. So basically you decide every element of the job that way. Yeah. Um, Ross, I thought you had the notebook just because you loved all of that Nicholas Sparks. Uh, David's character will be targeted by all the uh, casualties. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was negative monster. Um, yeah. The only rule that adds and changes the way scores are done is... The plot pay, you have to do rumor mill because there's other methods. Uh, retirement parties, if only one of us is doing the Mr. Joel's, but since it's a tontine, we do it like regular. Um, secret sensitivity, we're doing. And then it's uh, the only other rule is it goes wrong or I make it go wrong. Oh. And that's Ross's rule. Oh, so boy. when we get to the site, um, the rule for talking about things we heard about where the good is at, where we're going, is that nothing you propose can be pleasant. Like, it can never be good for you. You can't be like, it's a drive through and they yeah. give you whatever you want. Like, <laughs> it's always bad. Uh, and there's questions Ross can ask for that. 
Um, but with it goes wrong or I make it wrong, uh, Mark's facilitating the design of Mr. Joel's need to pay extra special attention during the discussion of the site. Recall that every proposal for the site needs to hurt or hinder takers, and markets have veto power over any softball proposals that don't pass muster. Once the site has been defined by the retiree and all the rumors proposed, roll secret sensitivity like normal, but for every false rumor, add another complication. So anytime we aren't right about a thing that's going to make it harder, you just make something completely different up. And that so like if we don't make it suck enough. Yeah. No. No. We make it suck, but it only sucks our way if we make our sensitivity (laughs) roll. Okay. If we don't make our sensitivity roll, it sucks whatever his way wants it to be. Nice. And we don't know how it sucks. And we have no idea. Yeah. Uh, We're blindsided by it. Okay. So if like for instance. Uh, when we did yours, yeah, uh, you were like, I think the DHQS is there, and everyone was right, and then everyone was like, it's like they're running a drone operation for smuggling to different using places. those drones that we got. and they were wrong. I'm like, no, it's an apparent research facility, uh, yeah. and so that's what you ran into. So that's how you shock people. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, so everyone, we're all like each other. <clears throat> Okay. It's back in the past. We're not horribly scarred or addicted to drugs. Yeah. Everyone roll a black and then no one add, shot anyone yet. And then add your foresight. Oh, Mine was eleven. Yeah. Six. Four. Wow. Shit. Ten. Nice. Uh, Wait, I need to write all these numbers. I also no, got these 10. are just for initiative. Yeah. Ten. Check out the initiative. All right, David's up then. So what good is two banners about? And you need to do this in character. So yeah, what are we? What are you doing? What did you hear past. about? Yeah. You can pass if you don't want to do it, but... This is just the good, not the location. Yeah, not the location. Where... What are we going to go get? Well, part of the good kind of falls into the location. Well, that's fine. I heard amusement park near Lake Tahoe. (sighs) Biggest water park in the world. On the day of the crash, it was full to capacity. The way it works, you have to show identification to get in. Once you get in, your belongings go into a small locker, and you take the key with you as you wander around the park. But that bank of lockers will have at least a thousand bounty, if not more. Oh yeah, every no one brings their ID to go swimming. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. nobody yes. swims with their ID in their pocket. Yeah, you don't want your wallet wet nor your cell phone. Yeah, in the canonical. So it's a bank vault. Okay. Yeah, that works out. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, so. Uh, that's what you heard. Uh, now you go clockwise, and you add wrinkles to it. Wrinkles, huh? <clears throat> so what else have you heard? Everyone. So basically, out of character, what you add to everyone's that? heard about the treasure of two bears. Quick, quick question: <laughs> Does uh, you said virus dies in water? Uh, it just uh, it doesn't die. It just can't swim. Okay. Lungs are deflated and they have terrible body. Okay, but the, the the virus outside of the body does it survive in water? Uh, no, it doesn't. It okay. doesn't transmit through water. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we could go to a wa- we could go to a water park, sure. But I mean, you said it yourself. It was full to capacity. Yes. How many people do you think fit in that water park? Thousands. Yeah, thousands of casualties. So, thousands of casualties. Thousands of years ago. All right. Mm-hmm. Thousands of times. Which means we're not going to clear it out. <laughs> Good news, we don't have to scavenge the bodies. All right. Look, Han, I, I get what you're saying, but those lockers are all locked up. We're going to have to pry bar open every single one of them. How do you get all the stuff out in the amount of time we're going to have? Bolt cutters. So how do you get all the doors open? All lockers locked. Pneumatic hammer. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, well, but, that makes noise and takes time yeah. and muscle. Yeah. Also, <laughs> the The drill's broke again. Set. Broke it. You see the drill. Uh, right. Okay. Well, it's like, so we can get bolt cultures, but Alice also brings in a bigger part of the issue. The 
that's like the, par- the schematics of the park had it built into a natural ravine that allowed it to remain cool during the summer, but also still allowed collection of water. I, the current drone s- surveys that have been done over that place show that it is flooded completely. All right, to be clear, you guys are doing the site now, which is fine. We can do the site first. But goods, you can be like, what else is there of value? Yeah. We don't have to just shit on ourselves. So let's just say we're doing the site first. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you're doing the site first because that's what you were saying. It is so com- flooded. Thousands of zombies, all locked is flooded. Lock, and it's flooded. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's or it's not any of those things, and it's all things Ross makes up. Hey, Caleb, what's the upkeep on scuba gear? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Save it for the splat books. <laughs> Okay, so it's flooded. There's thousands of zombies. Okay. Oh, shit. But what else can we get there aside from lots and lots well, of fountains? We're, we're starting with the sites. So yeah, we're thinking doing about, sites. Okay, so swimwear. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go for a hike. <laughs> I'll sell it at a high price. We're lab tricks needs <laughs> nylon. Lots of nylon. <laughs> we're gonna put McCready in a speedo because we can. Needs Crocs. <laughs> okay. Uh, Damn it. Okay. And that's going in a splat book somewhere. <laughs> okay, we're not the first people who have heard of this, and so more people have tried to get in, I've heard. Especially, they thought some kind of way of entry was near the parking garage, and that might be loaded down as well, not just the park. There could be another taker group camped out there waiting for the right moment. Okay, rival taker group. Yep. It's the treasure of two banks. <laughs> Many have tried. <laughs> Only none, have re- fail. none have returned. <laughs> Which probably could also give us another. Wait, are we wind up in a small Mexican village learning <laughs> what, what valuable life lessons? <laughs> Wait, are we going to have a, our own personal bar talk for this? Uh, Dr. Jones! <laughs> McCready! What you got? Still about the site? Yes, something, some complication. Uh, look, guys, uh, this all sounds very well and good, but I don't think you remember that. There's some news reports right before it happened that there was a bunch of renovations going on on a lot of the bridges and highways over that area. And there, like, there's basically I mean, one actual road in and out of there. Okay. And they say the traffic was completely bumper to bumper the entire summer season. Okay. You know that every single road going in there is going to be absolutely jam packed, blocked. Okay, gridlock. Obviously, tons of zombies. Thanks for turning us into Thunderdome, Tom. Whee! Any time, zombies place. going in, Thanks zombies coming out, and zombies, zombies inside. You know, despite, despite my tone of voice, I really like all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good role play there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I kind of like this. So, uh, we got to roll for sight first. So, you roll for us, but just go around and ask. So, his is mu- immutable. Yeah. Now look at his. Uh, ask him his sensitivity score. So wait, so because David got first, he you, he just chose the location or the good. He he well he chose the site. Okay, and basically we'll talk about the goods. Okay. Um. So. So that you're locked. gonna roll. Yeah, you're gonna roll a basic <laughs> sensitivity check for Faust. Do you have sensitivity? <laughs> So Faust can be fooled by anything. So it's a, he's at a base chance. What's I rolled it. No, no, no. I, I it. roll. I roll. He oh, rolls it. Damn. Because we don't know. If it what is your uh, charisma? Uh, one. All right. <laughs> don't look. Don't fucking look. I'm, I'm kidding. Jesus, I'm, Aaron. I'm kidding. Aaron, Aaron so you can basically just write yes or no. Like, that needs to be an element of the job, or I need to replace it now. Okay, so that is, so depending on his role, it's either accurate, as he says, it's or... It's accurate, or you invent something else. Okay. Because the, the basic rule for Mr. Joel's is you make it go wrong, or I make it go okay. wrong. Okay. Uh, so if it's a no, you make it go wrong. Yeah. And if we're All right. right, yeah, that's how it goes. I made the roll. Um, Yay! So on mine is next. I have a one, so roll for me. Plus one yeah. on the black. Okay. Uh, then it will be Aaron. Base. <laughs> What's your charisma? One. <laughs> one. Okay. We are going to be blindsided. <laughs> yep. This is going to be fun, though. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sean. Uh, Cuddy has a sensitivity of two. Thanks, Cuddy. <laughs> Anytime, Thank home plus. Yeah. Uh, okay. Snugans. Uh, McCready. Do you have uh, sensitivity? One. One? He actually... You have it at I, one? I, I, I bought it. Nice. 
Layton P90X. And, he, and, and like, there's also. Get in touch with your feelings. <laughs> get in touch with <laughs> others' feelings. Like, it's like, your Layton Black Vein feelings. You will squat. Feel, you will feel, feel so deep. Squat. <laughs> okay. All right. Actually, I think it's a side effect of the podcast. I kind of like this better now. So, <laughs> we talked about why this is a terrible goddamn idea. <laughs> yep. So, now we need to talk about. How much goddamn money is there is going to change our mind. Uh-huh. Uh, so, <laughs> so this is the good. Yeah. So we basically do the thing we did last time: re-roll, add your sensitivity. I'm not going first. Sensitivity or foresight? Ten. Uh, foresight. Foresight. Sorry. Uh, Still twelve. Six. Nine. Eight. So you will go first. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can already say there's thousands of bounty. Okay. You could say that, or you could say something else. Either way, it's immutable. Uh, there's not thousands of bounty. Excalibur's there. Give me something else. <laughs> thousands. Uh, the Excalibur server. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go with thousands of bounty. Actually, no, 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 no. No. Uh, Tens of thousands. All right, look. If we clear the place out, do you what? have any idea how much that would sell for? We could sell it as an enclave. It has working water. It has defensible. It has those fucking high walls with the tiki torches on it. Is this a prequel now? <laughs> it's real estate. <laughs> It's real estate. Yeah. We could sell the water park. Okay. It's free real estate. All right. Mm. We could reclaim it even. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, they had that train thing though. Remember the train rides that would go the around train? those parks? Like they give you tours, like for oh, the old yeah, moms yeah, and dads. Right, yeah. Why couldn't you just run the same thing that we did here at Trabajo there and use it to block off the passes? You could connect it to the rail line. Well, that, that's a pretty good idea. So, like, if 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 we could get there and we could s- sell off the rails or sell off the... I mean, we have a buyer already. Yeah, like, so once we secure it, we have a buyer for all of those parts okay. built in with the conductor. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the rails. The yeah. Actual, the rail infrastructure? Well, yeah, the rail infrastructure, we could sell it off to the Trabajo. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a modification of it, so... Yes. Well, it's another way to earn money. Yeah. Okay. So, well, the thing that would seem to be the, the best way, because the rail system, it would be a great win, win for Trabajo, but the better one would be the water filtration systems. They have a massive amount of ones that should still be in decent working order, and All we can sell that... water chip. So, oh god damn it! <laughs> and we can actually, and we can actually uh, disassemble those and sell that to almost any enclave that we come through, even somewhat more wealthy farms. Okay. Yeah, water filtration system. Water park would have very good ones. Well, you know, now that I think about it, I mean, if so many other tankers have tried to go in and not come out, they probably left their gear. <laughs> Taker loot. Yeah. Taker gear. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, Tom. Uh, no, I mean, I'm really hurt about the place. I'd always planned to go before, you know, the thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fair and, enough. And, and my kind weren't allowed in pools anymore. <laughs> like, but there, I know there. I, I heard there was a. Uh, it's kind of like summer music festival going on there, and apparently they were boasting, yeah, you know, like the entire summer of nothing but. Like new music, like new, like different songs every day. So they have, I think they probably have like a vast recording selection of like music from throughout history. That stuff that some people might think might have been lost. Okay, new music. Also, we can hunt for John Bon Jovi's skull uh, and drink his fans it. have put on a closure contract. <laughs> <laughs> they and can't, they can't bear the thought of John wandering the earth. <laughs> In his undead state, they want to put him out of his misery. Send him to heaven. Put his bullet to rest. <laughs> yes. Nice. Uh, all right, Han. Am, am I locked in at the thousands of bounty already? No, no, we started. Oh, okay. we did. I mean, you can add thousands of bounty. In fact, well. you don't. We don't have thousands of bounty right now. No, no it's we, we oh. need that. Yeah. <laughs> we need that one. All right, thousands of bounty in the locker. Thousands right. of bounty. All right, so these are all options of ways to make the tontine. Okay. Uh, but we don't know which ones exist and which ones we are just internet bullshit. Right. Until we get there. Uh, so is this is another sensitivity check. His is immutable. Yeah. Since he won. So, so we could definitely secure it as an enclave. Yeah. 
Uh, but then roll for me. I have a plus one in sensitivity. I'm not base. I have a plus one. I know. I know. I know. I'm just. I think selling an amusement park is very fitting for two banners. <laughs> Again, it, it, cool. it yeah. is actually I two think banners. Again, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, we're not good at code uh, words. You over no, 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 I just have a base. That's what I'm saying. You have a base. Yes. Yeah, because your most characters points. go for like ironic, you know, kind of like a specific. You know, we're not getting Walter. Code code is uh, we're cutting ironic. Cutting. Sorry. What was it? Two. Now, see, I was thinking this is only one of the two amusement parks. Some. There's. The surf side, but nobody's even talked about the turf. David. <laughs> One. Which would be, you know, the other banner of two banners. Rotten shrimp all over. Okay. I oh made boy. the rolls. All Good. Right. All right, uh, so one last thing. Okay. We don't have to do economy, because we're going to go back to Trabajo and sell it. Uh, so roll, add foresight. Just black? Yep. 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 Eleven? What? Seven. Eleven. Eight. So you two roll off. Six. Eleven. All right. So David decides it. Uh, well, he doesn't decide it. He starts off. So this is competitive. Uh, so you can't do this one because uh, we need a wholesaler. So if we're going to offload this shit fast enough, yeah, we need somebody with massive sway uh, in the law. So who has enough pull... To give us this bounty that we need. Who's going to make such an enormous... This is someone who could sell an entire enclave. Yeah. Like the real estate. And organize it and get people to move in and shit like So basically, this is competitive because we can only pick one person. But who do we who do we fence this shit to? I mean, this is more of a role-playing thing than anything else. <clears throat> it's, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, who does Ross have to learn to role-play? <laughs> uh, effort. <laughs> I've heard of the man. He lived through the death of one enclave and saw another group out of a second one. What we need is the moth hand. <laughs> okay. oh, God damn it. <laughs> You're welcome. It was <laughs> coming. <laughs> Such fun. Right. Might as well. <laughs> we, we knew it was. It was either that or else I would have gone for Ross's character. But, uh, <laughs> so you can vote for someone person. else and pass or you could pick up, make up somebody. Uh, I've, I've never heard of a moth hand. Moth? Moth? Whatever. But we can sell it to the DHQS of the moths. I'm sure they'd love... We'll pick one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure we could... Actually, you know what? You Fuck the DHQS. The yeah, huh? Why don't we call in Karen? Yeah. Karen. We don't know her yet. Karen. Oh, that's... Damn it! That's moths. No, no, right. you've heard of her. Oh, right. we know. Everyone's heard of k Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Karen okay, that's good. I'm glad that she's such a she's, renowned is figure. K- is it no. K-Ron? <laughs> it's K- it's like <laughs> Karen. Karen, the boat woman of the River Styx. Uh... I mean, yeah, we could. I, I don't want to, like, get involved in the war. I think we should maintain our neutrality. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the DHQS, but I really don't want to piss them off that much. Yeah, that's I would fair. never do something like that. That's fair. Uh, uh, so, uh, we have a tenuous balance right now, and I'd like to lay it low. So I think the conductor is the obvious choice. We want If, we, if he buys all of our shit, he's yeah. also uh, obligated to cover our tracks once we leave. Yeah. Okay. What is that? You know, I have not been the biggest fan of the DHQS, and honestly, I feel that the moths could use that to their benefit, so I'm going to vote, put my vote to Karen. Thanks, Reefer. You're welcome. You're welcome, Amu. <laughs> All right, next up. <laughs> Gotta get it. <laughs> oh, hi, <laughs> Well, you can always vote Eric John Rosh, because that's. Uh, <laughs> no. Who? Uh, oh. no. Cover me in bounty. Yeah. No, no, no. I think I think there's actually a, a real bonus. I think Half has got a fantastic point. He's very persuasive, yes, but but the fact of the matter is, somebody has to be able to move out there to pick up the loot. So the conductor makes perfect sense. He can get the train closer to okay, pick it second up. Second vote for the conductor. Uh, Look, I don't even know if it's gonna matter, but. If there's, I haven't even heard of this person, but if there's someone called the Mob Hand, that just sounds really, that sounds like a name you can trust. So we, we have a, we're giving a three-way. God damn it. <laughs> voting, voting like Trump. Uh, I recognize that name. Um, hey, it's a dog you do All right, this is competitive. Everyone rolls foresight again. Whoever gets highest. Fuck. That's who it is. Oh, nine. Ten. Ah. Four. Eh. I have nine as well. 
I've got seven, but Tom's got a ten. God, God damn mob hand. We sell them to the mob hand. <laughs> so we're gonna sell it all to the mob hand. <laughs> I don't think I don't think a game's complete until a ex David character becomes an oligarch within the camp. <laughs> Not because be they they ravens or ex Roman slaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that is. She was a teenager, become an oligarch. Yeah. Um, or an ex Tom character, or yeah. there was a time when it was. Uh, how many times have we referred to a Cyrock in an Eclipse Space game? Yeah. That's a staple, goddamn. Yeah, it. it's a brand. Uh, uh, all right, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we just never. Have to I guess dark tower it. And when we last left the Mob Hand, he was still just a normal baker, but I guess he he's yeah. risen to power since he's risen to moved power up since. in the world. Um, uh, okay, that hand is so that's it. See, I got dizzy. So we're gonna do. Uh, Something at two banners. Two or... banners the amusement park. Uh, there are whatever now, we have. So the number of uh, there have to be since there's six players there have to be six loot things. It's just some of them the ones that you rolled correctly are the ones you predicted. The other ones I there doesn't have to be six loot things because okay. it's plot pay. Okay, but those are the options. So we're not doing like we did with mine where it was incremental. Like, no. So uh, if we run towards like. Uh, the thousands of bounty and that one's wrong yeah we just wasted a shit ton of time looking after value that's not there we gotta find one, at least one of the things that exist so, but there's no additional reward if you get more than one no okay I mean there can be like that's a matter of greed though like yeah uh, you are raised in poverty so I was thinking, leaving that behind is all gonna be massive stress checks okay like uh so I'll make all of them there so you have to make lots of stuff <laughs> sure you can <laughs> Uh, so much everywhere. We and didn't see the it. rolls, mm-hmm. so you yeah. could totally do that. Yes, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's two this session, folks. Um, okay, so that's it. And now we just should. So we all imagine that uh, we have the scene that we had at the beginning of the game, uh, where we all agree on two banners, uh, and then you have one last vignette before you leave, which is the dream. Um, so the dream is. Uh, the night before you go out knowing you're going towards Mr. Joel's is that you uh, have a dream of what your life is like after you escape this. After you are out of the grind, you're off the wheel, uh, what's, your ev- wh- what's your perfect Sunday? You just describe that day, mm-hmm. and then at some point Ross wakes you up because <laughs> you're not there yet. Uh, so Ross plays the nightmare, uh, and you described the dream. So okay. in Ross's, Ross described his full day where he like, and he ended it in his like high rise apartment out looking over the border. Yeah. And then I had like dead hands slap against the glass until they broke in. And then <laughs> Kowloon woke up and realized yeah. he still had to go out and do this thing. Yep. Uh, so well, you just do Actually, that. Ross, if you want a glimpse into my personal hell, I wrote it down. <laughs> uh, okay, well, okay. Uh, I mean, well, well we can pause the recording real quick. I need the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. And we're back. Two banners. Two banners. <laughs> so we're now we're doing the final vignette, the dream. So Kale can start us off. Um. So half gets up in the morning. He puts on his prosthetics, which are uh, fully masked cosmetically now and look like an actual arm and leg. He puts on modest pants and a polo shirt. Um, he's got a little gray in his hair. Uh, and he walks to work from his rent-controlled apartment uh, in Massachusetts, as far as he could get away from the border. <laughs> <laughs> um, he walks down the street to the uh, used car dealership selling electric cars, where he got a part-time job. Um, he likes to do this to keep busy, even though he doesn't need the money, and it keeps up his cover. And uh, he's freakily good at it, uh, as if he's had a lot of practice selling things under high pressure. Um, Every day as he walks home, uh, he meets Wes uh, at the bus stop. Uh, It's also where his dead drop with Leech is, where they can tell him if there's any trouble. Uh, But he walks Wes back. Uh, Wes is a senior now, uh, too good for him, aloof, uh, half kind of relishes in it. (laughs) <laughs> uh, that he got to be this old. Um, some nights he goes over and uh, he has dinner at the apartment that he bought for Emma and Wes. He doesn't live with them. Um, and occasionally they'll watch TV at night. Uh, and then he goes home 
to uh, his apartment. Uh, sometimes she'll give him a kiss on the cheek and it makes him swoon and feel like a teenager again. Uh, and he locks his door and he, you know, takes off his arm and his leg and he goes to bed. Okay, and then uh, he's woken up that night. <laughs> There's a noise out in the living room. <laughs> he puts his arm in his leg on very quickly, very quietly. Uh, and he can hear voices uh, coming from there. It sounds kind of familiar, like people yelling. Uh, but he can't quite place it. So he goes out there, and he sees a tablet that's been set up, uh, kind of like this. And it's playing footage from an underground parking lot. <laughs> uh, footage that has been broadcast on Ubik many, many times, showing... A DHQS black side. Uh, and sitting at the table watching it uh, is the doctor. Uh, and as you look at it, uh, you hear uh, uh, too, too, too late soft footsteps and the cocking of a pistol. Uh, and you, uh, you hear it, and everything goes black. Uh, and then you wake up, cold sweat. <laughs> Even years later, they will never stop looking for you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So that's how it works. You that's start with the cool. dream, it ends with the nightmare. Mine will see, be I was really gonna, and then you play the game to see who wins. Well, see, yeah. I was going to do the the, one, the other thing is that you would like, oh, wait, I'm sorry to start the relations with you, Chad. You look in the mirror, you're Chad. <laughs> <laughs> you're, I've been Chad this whole time. <laughs> Chad doesn't have prosthetic lens, it wouldn't work. So, Chad not yet. So, prosthetic yeah. surgery. Uh, so, uh, Reaper. Um, it is an unusually bright and warm day, uh, along the stretch of track that we are now, that's like now that the, uh, what we're jokingly calling the Crosstown Express is rolling down. Uh, it's been months since Two Banners, but we, Reaper and I have managed to get us like scraped together enough where the... Crosstown Express is running beautifully. We've been able to stop in small towns, uh, paying, having people pay ten. Uh, it's like ten to five. Oh, sorry, uh, three to five bounty each for specific repairs. We manage to trade and barter for whatever we need. So at cost or uh, at a profit? So uh, for the the to- once we actually reach an enclave, it becomes for profit. But we manage to do enough charity work off the side because once we get into an actual enclave, they realize that a fully functional repair station is something of a godsend. They actually are amazed that we can sal- use this thing to salvage as much as possible. Okay. Uh, the people we've gotten for are a little bit sketchy at first, but have, have realized that we're a safe place from the casualties. So it's fine. We That's like we manage to park in, most, in enclaves most nights and sleep our troubles away. Uh, and as you pull into one enclave and you uh, promise them work, you promise them to repair their things and keep them going. Uh, you hear as you, you and your sister step off, uh, everyone is smiles. It seems everyone's kind. Everyone's just looking at you. Everyone's smiling, and you hear a voice: "Get them!" Uh, and just arms reach out. They they grab you both. Uh, and you hear voices yelling, All right, we got them. We'll give them up to the raiders. Uh, strip the plate, you know, strip the train. Uh, you know, we don't have to pay tribute. No, we'll just send the outsiders. We'll just send the outsiders. Uh, and you wake up. <laughs> not my train. Yeah. <laughs> Send me, yeah. not my train. Wow. <laughs> Take my sister. Crosstown Express. Eat <laughs> the train. Yeah. She's the the train by the very people you were going to have. Oh, wow. So, so that's your nightmare. Actually, if I could add a little Bookmobile bit. Bookmobile in the loss. Yeah. Albatross flying off of Oh, Albatross gets shot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a nightmare. Like, Albatross tries to defend I'm going you. full to break now. Bullshit dream. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. They shoot the bird. That's what you see before you wake up. Uh, so... No! Yeah, well, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will make this easy for you for a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> lights flicker on, you know, fluorescent lights flicker on in a windowless room. So we cut to a shot of a, you know, white lab coat being buttoned down. Cuddy's you know, following Cuddy down a hall. People occasionally lecture. showing some kind of respect. One person says, The DHQS wants to research soon. They'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep marching through, pass by a few like holding pens for casualties. <laughs> a couple of them do have prosthetic limbs, by the way. Um, <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> How is that a cure? Don't make them cyborgs. <laughs> Cyborg casualties. Cutty doesn't make sense. Um, a few like a few la- like lab rooms with observation windows, state of the art equipment, people working on it, very professional looking. Walks out into an actual lecture hall. It's filled to the brim with new dedicants. Cutty slowly spreads his arms to applause. <laughs> And then the alarms go off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> breach. Containment breach. Uh, yeah, Omega, le- level Omega 1. <laughs> no, seal it! Seal it! Seal it! It's and, too late! And then the tendrils pop out. The yeah. same tendrils, yes, the tendrils. That, destroyed the, that killed the luchador. Why did you make cyborg aberrants? Um, no, it's the aberrant <laughs> you have. Aberrant. Uh, you made them. You figure out their secrets, but you'll never no, be able to tell anyone. No! No! Yeah. Wake uh, up to a cold sweat. Yeah. Don't scream when I wake up until... Grab a nearby object off like a de- yeah. table. No! <laughs> Fling it. We're too close. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Why yeah. is everyone night screaming? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just like, dude, it's a Mr. Joel. It's like, oh, all right, uh, Madridi, I really want to hear this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> is it gonna be played to the tune of Perfect Day? All right, no, no. Today right. is such a perfect yeah. day. All right, a few months <laughs> after Mr. Joel's. Yeah. Uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the, like, near some small town in the country in the recession. Okay. Obviously, uh, you know, can't can't be around too many people for obvious reasons, but I've been, uh, I own a nice kind of ranch-style mm-hmm. house in the country near a small town. I, I do have a, you know, video phone hookup that I call, I call my brother every week, who, he's, he used his part to buy an actual bar in one of the big cities, and he's, oh, yeah. just dandy, and I, uh, I split my time between this kind of a house, just... Enjoy, you know, clearing brush, clearing brush, living, and occasionally going into the town where I run a uh, fencing studio. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, that's awesome. There's actually you guys yeah. Have to wear a mask. Yeah. For holy fence. fuck. <laughs> Do not cut the instructor. <laughs> well, no. Like it would be like his idea would be a community of uh, Latins that are in there because right. the recession can't get rid of all of them. Uh, and fancy equipment. And some of them might have useful. And some of them might have useful skills. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you hear the air raid siren. Uh, the DHQS has changed their policy. Uh, yeah, one someone went vector. Someone had a heart attack, and it's just politically convenient. Uh, for all the latents to be purged. So uh, you hear the trucks pulling out, uh, people just being gunned down in the streets, uh, the mass graves start to burn. Uh, you, re- you you're in your fencing equipment. You rush out. Mr. Feudal- McCurdy, don't make this harder on us. The music cues back up. You just keep me hanging on. You charge <laughs> futilely, uh, trying to kill them with the Using sword. Using the same sword that got me through the whole goddamn loss. <laughs> and then you just gun down, and they just keep shooting you until you're nothing. Why was uh, he using a sword? Uh, and they just burn your body, and that's it. My God. Shit. Yeah. I like sword. I have to burn these sheets. <laughs> <laughs> no, you keep them. Everyone knows that they're by. That you just you, they're big yellow stickers the on it. Sheets do not touch. Yeah. Latents, yeah, gross. Yeah. Very much. Uh, biohazard like, symbols all like, over. Oh, great! Like, gonna need bleach. Probably be a tarp or something like that. Something could wash off pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something that can be hosed off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Han. No, well, I'm going to wake up in a twin bed that's still oddly comfortable. Uh, walk through my modest house, go to the household shrine, light five incense sticks for my family, five for my friends. <laughs> and different <laughs> colors. Yeah. Of course, the white ones for grieving, the others are for prosperity. I hope for the best for Yeah. Because in a perfect world, all of my friends made it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dream. It's, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Make sure Silas is up and moving and ready for school. Wait, wait for the school bus with him. And then, much like Half Dreamed, I'm heading into town for the job. I work at a florist shop. I'm trained in handling Chinese floral arrangement, and I'm oddly one of the few people that still knows that skill. Yeah. They call me in for the special jobs. Look out across the ocean. Spend the evening at the beach, just walking along. Okay. 
And what it, could possibly happen? So you're at the beach, uh, and you see a couple, a couple, very happy looking couple. They're just holding hands, walking alongside. Um, and you think they, they're, they, I mean, they look very happy, very healthy, very athletic. Uh, and you don't really pay any minds. Uh, or something distantly. Maybe years ago you would have twinged it. Maybe when you were more active, more suspicious, more paranoid back in the game. But no. Because you don't notice the little bulk on their, uh, under their shirts. Uh, and it isn't a second later you realize those were the outlines of pistols. Uh, and as you turn to try and act, they already have them drawn. Uh, and they just shoot you. Uh, again and again and again and again. Um... The DHQS doesn't forget, and they do not forgive. The, your body is taken out into the water, and your son never sees you again. On the whole, that's actually a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I expected a horde of dead teenagers had... coming from the ocean. Humans killed me! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they didn't torture right. you to death. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I just got a quick shooting. I mean, I handed him the hells that I was expecting, but yeah. ew, we're no. safe. No, it's it's. But it's because you were expecting them. <laughs> well, you wake up in your nightmare and you realize, oh God, what about my son? Is he going to get it too? Uh, are they going to visit him? Uh, yeah, you're a wanted man. You're never going to know peace in that way. So that's what you wake up to. So uh, I'm. Uh, all right. Uh, I feel the touch of wood against my fingertips as I push open the door to my home and step out into uh, into my yard, my orchard. Uh, sunflowers everywhere. I have a herb garden. I have uh, carrots, potatoes, tubers growing. Uh, off in the distance, I see apple trees. Uh, I have my overalls on. I'm going to harvest food uh, as a as much as I can anyway. Bring it in and uh, cook something. Uh, and uh, hopefully, I'll have a nice, peaceful, quiet evening. I won't hear any clacking teeth. I won't hear any <coughs> screaming. I won't hear any machinery. And I'll be able to spend it with the people I, that I care about. Who do you care about? Have you met more people? No. <laughs> <laughs> when he says, the, "Are you by yourself?" She says the people she cares. Oh about. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ethnia. Ethnia. Yes. Ethnia? Yes. Yes. Okay. And Mr. Happy Sniper Rifle. Um, Mr. Happy Sniper Rifle is being cleaned right now. Oh. And as you go to, as you eat there, uh, the window, the little curtains by the window. Blow the soft breeze. You have the window open, of course. Oh, it's a very nice, nice evening. It's wonderful. Uh, and Anthony, you just you look up at her and you smile. And she smiles back, and you're, it's just picture perfect. And that and that moment freezes in your mind as a you hear a crack, uh, a sound, and it, your brain too late recognizes what it is. But by then, Ethne is already slumping over, uh, and. Uh, she falls down. There's nothing of her left uh, anymore. There's just blood. And you look up. You try to go to your rifle, but then there's another shot. Uh, and then in the distance, and just you know uh, out there. In fact, that no one ever found the deer hunter. No one. <laughs> there was just a man out there wearing a deer skull as a mask <laughs> with a rifle, watching uh, as you slump over, bleeding. Uh, as you tried to reach for the half-assembled rifle. Uh, and you wake up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I weep silently for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. A little post-job, pre-job jitters. <laughs> yeah. We you know, totally life know. Life jitters. Yeah. Uh. So I think that's everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you've been going to two banners of uh, Water Amusement Park uh, near Lake Tahoe. We've doomed Tahoe. ourselves. Yeah. Uh, Lake Tahoe. Uh, some of the things you said are accurate. I, I will say it wasn't 100% one way or the other. Some skill rolls were made, some skill rolls were failed. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, yeah. do you want to wait till next week to call a call in the favor from Algernon? Oh, yeah, Algernon. Um, no, I will give you that. Okay. Um, you so find out... I just reluctantly pull up Actually, this Crazy unit. Jane comes to you, uh, and she says... Um, I send the message off the, to his you pick. That's our That's investor that. lady, right? Yep. Yes. Uh, well, she is in the treasure hunting community. Uh, you sent a message to her and you never got a reply back. But then Crazy Jane comes to you and she says, um, You're, I don't know how I know this, but um, apparently you seem to be going to Lake Tahoe? Killer. She knows too much. Uh, yeah. Algernon says thank you. Does this smell like pork? Uh, and she hands you a packet. Uh, a little uh, printout. Oh, th- thank you. Yeah. So, I'm I, leaving Tahoe, by the way. Uh, and I'm not done to worry about it. 
So. I, I wouldn't there, but congratulations. <laughs> so yeah. is it is it the congratulations moment? I guess or. I, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, Thank you again for supporting me and believing in me. But I, yeah. there's a lot of heat on Drabaho. I will say this. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of heat. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I'm not a lot of people. We covered a trip. We brought the eggs <laughs> to a degree. Can, can I ask you? A Remember, question? you didn't shoot all the prisoners. Uh, we, we did not. Um, and can, they, were, some of them, were caught by the agents. <laughs> can I ask you how you know Aldron? He's a treasure hunter. Oh, he's one of the treasure hunters. Uh, he is the. Well, one of the people who really knows his shit, and uh, I guess so. I don't know. I don't want to know how you know him. I don't know anything like that. If he owed, if you, if he owed you a favor, then this is good information. So, all right. So, uh, thank you. Okay. So, open it up. Uh, I forget where did you get the favors from Algernon when we were saving all the slaves? Yeah, when he stayed behind, we're all like, okay, we, we did as much as we could. Yeah, and left everyone. And I got the one, one guy out. out who was, I, th- I thought was just crazy. I, I thought honestly he was the deer hunter at first. So. <laughs> no, he's not the deer hunter. Um, but you get a message uh, saying uh, two banners, uh, DHQS two banner uh, DHQS situation report, uh, two banners amusement park <coughs> uh, advisory. Do not enter this area. Uh, group it, and then there's a there's a disclaimer. What a source of uh, danger? Uh, a hostile group has laid claim to it. Uh, t- a group of takers. Uh, known colloquially as the Horseman uh, of the Apocalypse. Uh, I sound nice. AKA Python. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's false. <laughs> so that was Algernon's favor. You now know what one of the threats is. Uh, okay, that's you, good. I think it was you, right? Uh, that there was a rival taker group? No, uh, no, no, mine was. Oh, there's Sean. Sean. Sean, yeah, you rolled for Good job, Sean. Yeah. Uh, there's a rival group called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Uh, and they have a record. Fucking group. edgelords. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, Shoot the horse. Yeah. So you yeah, get that's to- a lot of humanity rolls they're going to have to make. <laughs> yeah, like they have to make rolls anywhere. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Got, Got mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that is, you know, yeah, that was his advantage. You got, you got to figure out what one of the threats was. I'll take it. Yeah, so I'm glad I saved it. Um, so you'll get that. Uh, I'll give you a more detailed briefing in general. Uh, it, the short is they're bad. Uh, bad. They they do not. Want to, <laughs> they cannot be. They do not negotiate with people. They just kill. Yeah. Rather violent and heavily armed. I don't know. Yeah, wait, just way. a minute here, yeah. Ross. Are you trying to tell me that a group that calls themselves the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse <laughs> are not, in fact, a group of? Boy Scouts that would help fluffy bunnies across the street? They're actually a scout. Band. I know, it's a total shocker, but. I know. I'm... Yeah. Right. Immersion blow. Yeah. Uh, so that's all you know uh, going in. So we'll uh, do two banners uh, next week. Two banners. I wonder how many two minutes two that session's going to last. We might, we might die on the way there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> that's entirely possible. Again, I, my design goal is to make this about choices, not about dice rolls. So okay. if you choose well, all of you could survive. If you choose poorly, I give all it you could die. 35 minutes. <laughs> Can I have a loop of if he chose poorly <laughs> every single time? No. That's that, will, that will be one of the poor choices <laughs> <laughs> the first time you say that, the first time you play that video, you're, uh, another PC dies. So the hawk is first. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the hawk will be. Do we have to make rolls if the hawk dies, or yep. just refer? Oh no, just... all of you do. What? So it's a bomb. It's a mascot. <laughs> Fuck. It won't be as bad. It'll be just like zero one if you uh, if it make. It's gonna be terrifying it's for gonna me. Be real bad it's gonna be one three yeah. for him. Oh no, two four. Oh, two four. Oh, wow. two four. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. Yeah, you invested your emotions in another living being. How would you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are you a fool? Because I want my goddamn soul, Amu. I have a soul, okay. Yes, then oh, somehow it has a yeah, body. Don't take your emotional weak kryptonite out <laughs> on your <laughs> dangerous that de- black ops. Yeah, hey, everybody my, knows oh there's no such thing as a soul. My kryptonite I, I has given us it, valuable I intel, really goddammit. If I go out, it's yeah. Emma taking me out emotionally. Yeah. And not the <laughs> yeah. The role you make it depends on how much you lose you get, I will say. Uh, I guess that's that's <laughs> legitimate. The more loot you get, the better your tracks will be hidden. Nice. Uh, that's a good way to do it. You yeah. know, you know when, he's, when he's sitting, when I heard uh, Air Raid Tower, like, and then he's like, oh, they changed their minds and decided not to waste a, the, the manpower, just a single missile. Uh, <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking fireballing. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking No, the they gotta reclaim the town. Yeah. Right. We'll just purge it and send in more people from the, you know, 
Uh, they're not wasteful like that anymore. Bullets are cheap. Manpower's cheap. So <laughs> they got uh, all the keys to heaven. Yeah, but I guess. Uh, anyways, okay. Yeah, any questions, comments, questions, guys? No, no that was fun. Awesome. Awesome. Right, yeah. awesome. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Two banners. Two banners. Two banners. Two banners. Oh,